y'all, I have the new Nomad Royal Europe palette. This one, somehow Nomad outdid themselves. Look at this color story. Look at this color story. I've been playing with this palette. We're going to create some looks. I'm going to show you swatches because you see this bottom row? You see it? Multi-chromes, multi-chromes, shadows that shift from different shade to different shade. I love that. We're going to create some looks. I'm going to do some swatches. I'm going to show you lots of swatches of these multi-chromes, show you how shifty, beautiful, special they are. We're going to play with this palette. And at the end of the video, I am going to give you my thoughts. I'm excited about this one. I cannot wait. Let's jump into it. <music> the Nomad Royal Europe palette. Nomad sent me this palette and I am pumped about this launch. This is going to be launching on Tuesday, I believe. So I will put everything down in the description box, the launch time, a link, all of that. But with this palette, oh, look at this color story. Ah, mm, this color story. I love deep dark mattes. I love jewel tones. I love multi-chromes. So we have the beautiful embossing in the pan that Nomad normally does. We have five multi-chromes and 10 mattes. Let me read you. Nomad is a brand that does destination themed palettes and collections. So this is Royal Europe. This says, uh, it's, inspired by family jewels, rooms, heirlo heirlooms of bygone eras. Very fun. Jewels and gems fit for a royal. So this says there are 10 luxurious mattes and opulent jewel tones of amber, emerald, sapphire, amethyst, and ruby, and five new multi-chromes. I am so, so excited. So Nomad is also supporting a cause. When you purchase this palette, a portion of that will go to the UNESCO, UNESCO, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, World Heritage Center that protects and preserves precious heritage sites around the world. So what I want to do is I want to show you a close-up of this palette so that you can see what it looks like nice and new with all the embossing in the pan we have a nice big mirror and I'm going to show you swatches. I want to show you swatches and I'm going to do my best to really capture the multi-chromes using my camera and my phone. I really like to get different lighting for y'all so that you can see the shifts and everything. This palette really special for Nomad. These multi-chromes, these formulas of multi-chromes, I haven't seen from Nomad before. I don't have all of their palettes, but I do have a lot of them. I do have an affiliate code with the brand. If you want to purchase this palette or anything at Nomad, you can use code Heather. You don't have to, but it's there if you would like to. I have been playing with this palette and really enjoying it, but I want to create a look for y'all today. I want to use these multi-chromes and these mattes and did I show you? Look at this packaging. So this is textured. It's like layered. So if you're looking at it flat, there's different dimensions to it, almost like the cutouts were stacked one on top of the other. And I really like that. I think that's very special. And we haven't seen Nomad do this type of packaging before. So that's something that I'm definitely excited about. But what I'm going to do is prime my eyes for shadow, zoom y'all in, and I want to share my looks with y'all. So just look at it, 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 look at it. Okay. You've looked at it. Everybody's looked at it. I'm going to put on eye primer, zoom y'all in, and we're going to create. Okay, to start off, I'm going to take my What's Up Beauty brush and we're going to start with the multi-chrome. This shade right here, Imperial Crown, shifts from like this lime gold orange type of color. Really beautiful with some yellow in there. And I want to start with the multi-chrome. I'm picking it up on this brush and this is going to go on the inner corner around and up. So here is my socket right there. I'm going to bring it into the socket onto the lid up and around like this. Very simple, not being super precise, just really kind of like a backwards C shape right here on my eye. If you have hooded eyes or something like that, maybe you don't have the same eye shape as me, you can take this up 
above and up. I'm taking it all the way almost to the front of my brow, honestly. Okay, what I want to do now is take this big fluffy brush from Blinged Brushes and go into this really pretty kind of like orangey brown. It's like a caramelly color, really pretty. And I'm just going to put this on the other half of my crease. So right out here, just really kind of buffing that out, letting the color come down to the lid and then up and out. And I'm using a fluffy brush to really, really disperse that color. I'm not really packing the shade on so much as I am blending it. While I blend this, I'm also just going to come down under the lower lash line. I'm just barely, barely touching my skin with the brush so that it's nice and blown out and diffused. Okay, the next shade I want to go in with, I'm ready to jump over to this side of the palette and go in with the Ballroom. This really pretty shade with this beautiful crown embossed on it. I want to pull in that shade to go with these kind of yellowy, orangey type of shades. Okay, so I'm taking this and I'm just going to layer this on top of that other mat and bring it kind of out and around, just buffing like this. You can see how pigmented this is. This is another What's Up Beauty brush. And I'm just kind of going to layer that, pack it on first, and then blend and even blend a little bit under the lower lash line, but just right out here in the outer corner. Okay, I'm just going to go back with that big fluffy brush and buff so that it's very diffused. I just want it to be super blended and blown out and not really precise with where those mattes like end and begin. Okay, for the lid, I want to go in with this multi-chrome right here, Royal Treasure. This is like a beautiful raspberry shade that shifts to like this beautiful green gold. Really, really pretty, like a hint of bronze in there. And so I'm picking that up on my What's Up Beauty brush, and I'm going to spray my brush with a little bit of setting spray, makeup mist, whatever. All right, so this, I'm not going to take it in as far as I did that first multi-chrome. I'm just going to put this all over the lid out here. Gosh, that is so beautiful. Yeah, it's going to go on the lid, even out to the outer portion of the lid and in. Okay, can you see there the shift in the mirror? I definitely can. I know I captured the shifts and the swatches for y'all, but that's pretty. Okay, I feel like this look is fun. It's bright. I want to add a little more to the lower lash line though, but if you wanted to keep this even lighter, just throw on some mascara and go. You could definitely do that. Maybe like a raspberry color on the lower waterline would be beautiful, but I want to deepen up the lower lash line with this shade right here called Great Hall. It has this beautiful like palace or city embossed on it. And I'm just going to take that. This is a blinged brush. And I'm just taking that on the lower lash line and using that to kind of blend out back and forth, back and forth. And then I'm going to throw on some eyeliner, going back with that original fluffy brush and just blending some more. But I'm going to throw on some eyeliner and mascara and a lash. And I will be right back to show you how this look comes together. All right, y'all, here is the finished look. I hope you like it. I really do. I just put on some Huda Brown Eyeliner in the Waterline, some Kiss Ruffle Lashes. My lips are Unearthly Cosmetics Liquid Lip in Cruel, and they're gloss in the shade Ornament. My blush is this one from Kaleidos. I will put the name in the description box because I don't know it off the top of my head. And then the Ray Rider Highlighter. So this one right here, that is how I finished off this look. But I do have a second look that I want to show you. A blue purple type of look. So let's jump into that one. All right, y'all, I am going to put on my eye primer and 
we want to start with a fun shade and I think <laughs> I'm looking at this palette. It's so incredibly beautiful. And I'm like, what do I want to start with? What do I want to start with? And I think I just want to go straight in with this shade right here. This one is absolutely beautiful. It has this beautiful design in the pan. So yeah, we're going to start with this shade right here. Okay, so I've got this eye primed and I'm going to just press that beautiful teal color all in my crease so like here's the socket of my eye right here and I'm using this brush from my favorite set with Sigma and this matte is so pigmented and beautiful I'm just taking my time pressing it in first and then I will lightly blend it back and forth back and forth like this just taking my time, not rushing. Okay, I'm taking that same shade and I'm just bringing it underneath my lower lash line. So I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm just kind of feeling where the brush is and just lightly, lightly sweeping that under. Okay, what I wanna do now is take this brush. This brush is from Blinged Brushes and I wanna go into Buckingham Palace, the beautiful plum that has this gorgeous like really ornate crown embossed in the pan and I want to just kind of put this right out here in this outer corner like this. I've always found Nomad mattes really easy to layer so I'm going to put it on the lash line and then I'm even going to layer it up on top of that teal color but I want to make sure I'm keeping that depth and just lightly blending okay I want to go in with a beautiful multi-chrome now and I think I'm going to go with this one right here uh it looks so beautiful it's like a purple teal blue really really gorgeous shade but I want to use my unearthly cosmetics glimmer grasp uh, down as like a base for these shadows. I really, really like this. I've been using this more and more and enjoying it a lot. It reminds me a lot of the NYX glitter glue, but this one is actually vegan. So if that's something that is important to you, I definitely wanted to let you know about that. Uh, and it's on Amazon now, which is, <laughs> which is so cool to see an indie brand like on Amazon. But I'm going to grab my little brush. I'm going to lay down the glimmer grass and then we're going to go in with that center multi-chrome that looks so beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to take that. This is another blinged brush. And since I put down that unearthly glitter primer, I'm going to pack first. So I'm just going to work in like light layers because I definitely don't want this to build up and look too goopy or anything like that. So I'm just going to work in light layers, packing this on. And then after I get it packed on, I'll kind of blend. But let me see. Can Ah, there you go. You see that shift, right? Like look at my eye and then look in the mirror. That's crazy beautiful. Okay, y'all. These shadows are so pigmented, beautiful, easy to blend. I'm feeling so happy right now. Let me grab this brush. This is like my favorite blending brush from my Sigma set. And I want to go into this beautiful center shade, this lighter blue kind of color. And what I want to do is just use this as a light blending shade. Now this shade looks super pigmented and beautiful, but since I'm going to use it with such a fluffy brush it's going to be easy for me to use it in a bit of a lighter way so that it doesn't kind of get away from me and it's not it's not fully like what it would be if I packed it on you know so I'm just going to lightly use this to make sure I don't have any harsh lines so I'm just going to go back and forth barely grazing my skin Okay, for the inner corner shade, I really want to go in with this beautiful multi-chrome right here. This is like a yellow, lime, emerald type of shade, royal orb. And I'm just going to put it on the inner corner so we're not going to get the full multi-chrome effect from it because it's just going in such a small place. 
but it's still gonna be really, really beautiful. So this is gonna be our finished eye look. I'm going to use some eyeliner, and I think I'm gonna put on a false lash too. And we'll see how this comes together. But instead of doing a matte inner corner, I thought it'd be fun just to use one of these really beautiful multi-chromes right here as well. Okay, y'all, here is the finished look once I added some black eyeliner and lashes. The lashes that I chose are Mystic from Unearthly Cosmetics, and my lip is also Unearthly. It's the a satin liquid lipstick in the shade Flirt. My blush and highlight, I decided to go with Pat McGrath. Now, I don't think this is available anymore, but it's the Divine Blush and Glow Cheek Palette in Nude Venus. And I do have the individual shade names though. So this blush shade right here, this is Paradise Nectar. And then the highlighter is sunset nectar so that's the blush and highlight i have on today i hope you like this look i really do i feel super beautiful i love the combo of the teal and the purple together and then that kind of splash of lime green yellow on the inner corner all the shadows were super easy to work with which makes me super duper happy but i do have more to say so <laughs> Here is the last look at this look. All right, y'all, I hope that you enjoyed both of those looks. I have really liked playing with this palette. I think this is beautiful. This is great quality shadows from Nomad. Really, really pretty. I love that Nomad is giving us some deep, dark mattes, a lot of depth, and then I love that they are playing with multi-chromes. I think a 15 pan palette, 10 mattes, five multi-chromes, that is a lot of fun. I, uh, Nomad, they're getting better and better and better. Uh, Y'all, the Love and Death palette, they had the Romeo and Juliet for Valentine's Day. Really love that palette. Now I'm like, okay, that one, that one in February, that was my new favorite Nomad palette, I think. But now this one's coming and I'm like, do I love you even more? I have really enjoyed playing with this. I'm so happy to have it. Again, I will put all launch details, everything like that will be in the description box. Definitely check there if you're curious about anything, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day. Please subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye.